We are following breaking news out of Spring. That is where two people were killed in a devastating motorcycle accident where a man and woman were thrown off the freeway. This happened on the Grand Parkway at Kirkendall. Investigators say they believe the motorcyclist lost control of the bike when he came to a bend in the road. It was then that he and the woman behind him went over the side, falling to their death. Authorities believe the man was speeding. Also breaking this morning, a groom has been shot the very night of his wedding. The shooting happened in North Northwest Harris County and apparently involved a guest of that wedding. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is tracking the story for us. Brittany, do we know how the groom is doing this morning? According to investigators, they say that that groom had to be taken by life flight. He was in critical condition at the time. They say that right now he's stable. He's awaiting surgery. But as you mentioned, this all happened just hours after his wedding. You can see celebration signs posted in the yard, but on the day of his wedding, a groom was found shot in the chest. According to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, they received a call around 1130 last night about a shooting at a home on Anna Green Street. They arrived on scene. The shooting victim was not on scene. The shooter had also left the location. After a short search, we found the uh, shooting victim. He'd been shot uh, in the chest. Deputies found the groom at a home across the street. It was reported to an investigator that the alleged gunman may have been a person invited to the wedding who got into some kind of altercation with the groom. After the shooting, the person took off. No one is in custody, and at this point, investigators haven't released details about a potential suspect. But they do say witnesses on scene, including the bride, weren't cooperating with investigators. So out here you can still see some of those signs from the wedding in the front yard. A captain who was on the scene tells us that three people inside of the home were detained. Reporting live in Northwest Harris County this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you.